Hey guys, welcome back to some more World Snooker Championship 2009 and part 4 of our career mode. In today's episode, we've got the final of the Shanghai Masters. It's going to be a long match, 100%. Uh, so it's going to be best of 19. So we'll do exactly what we did uh, with the Stephen Hendry match and do it over four episodes. Um, you know, today, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, um, Saturday next week as well. Uh, thank you for all the incredible support on the series so far. You guys are really enjoying the snook and so am I. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Against Ronnie, it is going to be tough. We're going to have to bring our A game. Um, as you can see, some of the highest breaks there. That's from Snooker Plus, which is one of the um, sort of uh, added games in this. You can see... The battle between me and Ronnie is real. He's won five matches. I've won four. Can we make it five all in this match? Let's see. So Ronnie is probably by far the best player on this game. He's, uh, you know, you've got to take your chances against him. Otherwise, you, you're just going to lose. So we're going to have to be good. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. This prestigious final at the Shanghai Masters. Without further ado, let's give a warm welcome to the players. There, ready. He's about Ronnie to break off then. Ronnie will be breaking in this first frame. Looks like he wants to get up and go home. Of 19, so it's going to be incredibly tough, but uh, you know, not not everything uh, you know depends on this session. That's a little bit of an attack and safety. Is the green gonna come to our no rescue? Dice, the reds didn't shift as he would have liked. Well, Ronnie misses the long pot. Well, this plant looks on from where I'm sitting. You'd expect him to sink this plant without too much bother. So, uh, attack and safety. That was a nicely executed plant there. Has worked out well. I don't think there's anything easy on there. He's not a bad player of the spin shot. Perhaps he'll opt to use some here. There's several roads he can go down here. I think he'll be targeting the black again. Nine. He put the black away well there. That set oh. himself up nicely for the next ball. Nice and well, It wasn't easy to get the pot and the position. What a statement this would make to Ronnie if we can... He's still in pretty Win this frame in one visit. Could have been a little bit better. He'll be on another red. Well, you know what uh, positional shot he thinks I'm playing to get on this black? <laughs> Certainly not that one. Um... <clears throat> Prefer this red to be on a small control over the cue ball. So more information about the shots with all the new camera angles they have now. Snoop. Shut up, John. Green looks like a decent bet. Um. Black is very possible here. Whether we want to go for it in the first frame, we will. This could be a and it's there. Break. He's notching the points up nicely. So what a start this could be. We'll leave him in best stead to continue the break. You'd expect him to pot this one. A little bit of a drag shot here. Well, it wasn't bad, he's but going to keep on this black again, I think. Again, just a little bit. Not ideal position for him, but he should be okay. Just a little bit low on the black. But that goes in. And as long as we can get to this red on the right hand side, 
should be in a good position, but we can't. So what are we going to play? It's a good question. Does this one go? I'm not sure it does. If you're watching at home and wondering what it takes to be a snooker pro, well, the answer is practice makes perfect, of course. Still, I can highly recommend World Championship Snooker for your game console as well. It's fantastic fun. It's there. Uh... There's no shortage of possibilities for this next shot. We are still on a 147, but I think it would be silly to go for the black at, at this stage. I don't think we can get to enough of it, so we're going to go for the pink. Uh, so, <laughs> apologies to you guys. I wanted us to go for the 147, but uh, the frame is more important. It looks like he might be nicely set for the black after this one. He's controlled the cue red. nicely there. Looks like he's having a go at this black. We are in a really good position here. Be very disappointed if we That's don't win the frame. Break, and it should put him in good stead for the rest of this frame. He'll probably want to get position back on the black. There's one this by the blue. Exactly, considering. This is exactly the start that we wanted. I can't help thinking he's thinking of seven points again. He's picking up points like a vacuum cleaner here. Which of the available reds will leave him in best stead to continue the break? Just a little bit off from being on that red. It's absolutely fine though, we'll just drop this red in. The blue looks there for the taking. So there's black and one more red. We take the opening frame and punish Ronnie. For that Mr. Uh, red, long red at the start of the frame. Watch it. Well, I'll tell you what, we could have done better than that. It should be okay. And what a pot that is. He's given himself a bit of breathing space here. Now for the sentry. That's the one he was after. It makes the frame safe. Again, though, no, just not quite where we want to be, but uh, again, should be able to knock this in. And we do. So, blue now is our compromise. We were on a one four six there. We'll have to settle for the one four four now if we do. I don't think you'll have a problem with the position for the black. But uh, certainly playing Almost solidly right enough. There. Should be able to put this one away. Just needs to concentrate. If he looked any more relaxed, he'd be asleep, wouldn't he? Well, I'm going to take the executive decision to pot the pink here and bring this other red into play. He's certainly capable when it's required. There's the century. An outstanding effort. If you get to play here, you can use a little look. Great shot. There's no shortage of possibilities for this next shot. Can we pop the black? And keep this amazing break going. He's picking up more like a vacuum cleaner here. Hard to find a shot here. The cue ball is in a difficult position. Brilliant. Oh! 
Unlucky, but with that break of 108, we take the first frame and lead 1-0. Very happy with that. Anyway, time for us to break off, hopefully not leave uh, Ronnie uh, an easy starter. We'll go for the Bingham method on the break once again. I wish I could just press a button to make him take a shot instead of waiting around like this. That'll do. It's pretty good. We want to be as tight as possible on the board cushion here. Decent from Ronnie. Just makes it a little bit more difficult to keep it safe. It's a little bit hard. Unlucky. For Ronnie O'Sullivan. The edge of the cluster should go. This is his first chance. What can he make of it? There's a chance to follow up from that good pot. He's going to have to take care here. Good. Instantly getting all of the reds into play. And he pots the brown without too much difficulty there. Good chance here. Night. He's a very colourful player, isn't he? Loves to swirl and spin the cue ball around. Well, misses the green by quite some easy, distance. His next shot would have been a lot simpler. I'm not really sure why he took the green on, but uh, he did, and he'll certainly be regretting it now. Oh, he's on played that terribly. Build. Have we fluked getting on the black? On the blue, to be honest. No. So, I think it is. We've got to punish Ronnie early on here. He looks absolutely it's delighted. He's not going to be making those mistakes all match. So just a little. Oh, that's gone wrong. He's got a tricky red that's hard up. He potted that emphatically, but he's not left anything easy. Oh, tough black. This into the corner. Not safe. Could be. It's there. Yeah. It's a decent position, considering. I'm not sure why the, uh, the crowd were... So unhappy. <laughs> this but, is a good uh, chance to get position on a red. Our black was spot on to keep the the break going. You can only go on the green spot. It's important he gets a good angle on the black. I wonder if he's thinking about the red along the side cushion. No. That one didn't present too many problems. Perfect. Good positional shot. And I'll tell you what, it would be nice to get on one of these reds near the black. This could be a critical break. He's notching the points up nicely. That's pretty good. There's plenty of options opened up here. So Another crack at the black would be nice. Let's drop this in. Yeah. Perfect on the black. The black looks on the cards. There's a loose red near the black that's worth a look. This red should give him the requisite angle for the black, which in turn will leave him on the next red. He should be able to negotiate a good position on the next red here. That's a good solid break. Play this with a bit of left hand side. He's worked out okay, just about. He's going to go for this red. Didn't want to be that close to the cushion, but seven points again. should be okay on and off the cushion. Super. That's good. 
Well, it's obvious that this shot could land him on the black. My math serves me correctly in these two reds followed by two colours. Stop. It's just it's blue. a little bit far. Long pink for me. That's the way to go. He's picking up Brilliant. points like a vacuum cleaner here. They might... and now Three points perfect. needed. That's a red, That's red and any colour. So just a red and any colour, as Steve Davis says. He'll probably go for another six points here. Be okay this, with this is frame ball. Well, I wonder if that will prove to be there the frame. There it is. Well, there's a cue ball. Wow. Well, that was close. He's well ahead. Maybe the red on the side cushion's worth a look. 69. Already 69 points is the break. Follow this through. A look at the scoreboard shows he's amassing a few points here and getting into a good position. All the way round the table then. Extremely tough shot this. It's a very fine cut. I'm going to go for this into the middle rather than the double. So I kind of want to get two sentries in a row. And it's there. With that one. He's nearing the hundred now. A little bit loose on position there. The shot requires the rest, and it's certainly a tricky one. He pots the yellow, and now he's got to weigh up his options. Uh, Starting this final with two centuries certainly won't hurt. Takes the green with a certain ease. Certainly, if we can clear up, that is. And he's left himself on. Yeah, absolutely perfect. What you want? Yeah, we'll play it with a bit of left hand side, bit of an exhibition shot. There we go. It's not bad. It's pink for the sentry. That's the and there's another one. I think he keeps going. Yeah, he's trying to get his iron. Two centuries to open up the final. That break of 110. That punishes Ronnie O'Sullivan's missed green, and we now lead 2-0. It never helps to be behind in a match. He has to try and make every shot. It helps to have this lead, of course. Well, that's a good, uh, good start for Ronnie, of course. <laughs> right. I'm just going to try and rest this into the pack. Oh, that's nowhere near. Yeah. So. Well, his opponent won't like queuing off the bottom cushion, that's for sure. Just got to get the pace of this right. A little bit more this time. Well, it's six points lost. And that's pink. And the consequences could be much that's more. That's not too bad. I think you'll be looking for the safest place to leave the cue ball. The safety shots are usually pretty standard. Nice safety. That's a pretty good safety. He snooked it. It might even be a snooker, and it is. Phased by his opponent at all. Well, that's what we were worried about. Hitting it too hard and leaving the red on. That's exactly what Ronnie's done. That's the first points for in this frame. Oh, we haven't quite got where we wanted to. Can play this brown in the middle. He started well here. He's just got to develop the balls now. Well, that's nowhere near where that's we wanted to position. be. Should have just tucked him up there, but it's 
So all right. Just hit this nice and thin. <laughs> well, a nice little flick there. Place a thin safety. Almost got it in behind the brown and yellow. Didn't quite manage it. Mm, it's not good. I don't think he'll have a problem with a position for the black. Oh wow, Ronnie misses that by an absolute mile. Position, but blew the pot. And I'll tell you what. Ronnie's not playing too well here. This is an opportunity to win another frame. Pull up. Oh, well. Just didn't stop nice running, did it? Not got the position he would have liked. So, I'm going to play this thin black. Should cover the pocket if we miss it. But we don't, and it goes in. And I tell you what, I'm glad it did, because look where the cue ball ended up. So, can we get a. It's a good pot, uh, and he's well poised for the next. High break. The black goes down then. I wonder if he'll hold Perfect. the green. Gonna have to pull something out of the bag to get a pot here. Great. Well, not bad. Just gotta be careful because you know we're not. Quite in There's a few reds available. prime position here. Decisions, decisions. In it goes. Great position. Likes to play snooker very much by the book, this player. Another good black. Not good. Can we get to enough of this red? I think we can. So not too bad. This should be the last sort of time that we're that far out of position. Can he achieve Again, the just not on the next red from here? Perfect. Poor time. position. This red is pretty tricky. Into the middle. It's there, and if this bounces Super. correctly, we can bring these reds into play. Ball control. Well, he's looking very relaxed. We Isn't should be in prime position. So, stone straight into the pack. Again, well, just flicked off it though. I think you'd probably choose the one near the pink spot. I think he should have done a little better there, don't you? The position looks good for him here. Brilliant. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. Superb. And this time we're perfect. Brilliant. He really likes to get around the table quickly and keep the pace up. This will be our eighth red and black. The scoreboard shows he's amassing a few points here and getting into a good position. So this black. One more red for the frame. Skillful positional shot. So, 
uh, silly to go for. Let's play it with a lot of right hand side to bring it back for the black. Okay. He's won the frame. And I don't think either of us potted a red before this break. Oh no, maybe. No, I potted the red and uh, brown, didn't I? So this isn't uh, a 147 attempt, unfortunately, but we can still get a 139. Can he hold his nerve? Where's the cue ball? Not bad. It was straightforward pot, but not overly tough either. The eight. So pretty close now. I was going to go for the 139, but it's not the same. <laughs> so, I'll go for that and try and get a third century in a row in this final, which certainly is impressive. Poor position. Oh no. That was all part of me planning to play it for the pink. Yeah. He'll take a look. And that's there. What an amazing shot. Hard to find a shot here. The cue ball is in a difficult position. Oh, can we clear the table? Where's it going? <laughs> the wrong mm, we ball. can't, we missed the green. But with that break of 111, we take the third frame and lead Ronnie O'Sullivan by three frames to nil. So, what a start for us, it has to be said, but what a poor start for Ronnie. He will not be impressed with his performance so far. incredible amounts of money nowadays. When you consider that Joe Davis, the winner of the first World Championship back in 1927, earned just over £6 for his win, compared to hundreds of thousands a day, well, it really does put it in perspective. Looking very, very unhappy with the situation. Well, well he's certainly not pleased. He's afraid of taking risks when necessary, if only to keep his opponent guessing. Again, that's a terrible safety from us. Ought to be a straightforward pot. Good shot from Ronnie, and this time, is he going to take full advantage? Got a chance to bring the Reds into play, which he takes. He won't be too disappointed to be going for black again. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. Looks like he's having a go at this black. Well, it would be typical Roddy to get a 147 <laughs> in this frame. As long as the cue ball doesn't roll off. Nah, I don't think he's going to get back for the black here, so... No 147 for Roddy. This has been a pretty decent break so far.
He's beginning to build a decent break here. So, 62 points the lead, 75 still on the table. This blue and one more red. So just this red. And he's done it. He needed to win this frame, really, and he's gone and done that. Is he going to do it with a sentry? Poor position. I don't think so, unless oh, no. he's going to play the plant. 97. It would just be ridiculous. He is, though. He is, though. Hang on. It's not there. Just... Well, that brilliant break of 97 from Ronnie O'Sullivan means he takes the fourth frame. And he only trails by three frames to one. So that is where we're going to leave it for this episode at the mid-session interval with us leading 3-1. What a performance from us in those first four frames. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular snooker content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Thank you.